So we now come to the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We find ourselves with some beautiful passages from Holy Scripture. But scrap scripture passages that need, I think, a little clarification in order to really understand what they're trying to say. The scripture passages are taken up with shepherds. The prophet Jeremiah begins with a very negative statement. Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherd my people, you have scattered my sheep and driven them away. For Catholics, I would say, when we hear the word shepherd, we think immediately of Jesus. And then the secondary reference immediately is priests and bishops, especially bishops. Bishops who uh, carry uh, a crozier, which is just a, a, a very elaborate crook that would have been carried by a shepherd. It's decorated and it's use, useless in a sense for what a shepherd used it for, uh, to uh, hook the sheep, uh, to get them uh, in, in the pen, or to rescue them from falling down, or possibly to use that same crook as a staff to beat off uh, those that were uh, trying to take his flock. So the word shepherd in our Catholic minds is often restricted almost to religious leaders. But we have to understand that in the, in the scripture passages, that they're not talking about religious leaders primarily. They are talking about political leaders, leaders of people. Uh, they are speaking of the, the kings uh, of Israel, uh, their, uh, their royalty, the advantages they took of the people. Uh, it's so sad. We see that again and again in the world. Uh, leaders take advantage of their position. They don't work for the people, they work off of the people. They shear the flock to get something out of them rather than to provide the flock with something more. The horrible incident that took place in Haiti of an assassination, that sad in itself, but the result of that assassination was it revealed how profoundly uh, the president that was assassinated did not do enough to provide for the stability and the leadership of the people uh, that he was the president of. Uh, a parliament that doesn't exist, a senate that has a small le um, a number of senators left in it, a judiciary, they call judges, who were not appointed and properly installed. All of these things contribute now to vast instability for a very poor country whose leaders, if you look at the history of, of Haiti, uh, you might say, uh, there was a, some of you might remember a man by the name of Pac, Papa Doc Duvalier uh, and uh, Baby Doc, his son, who just took over the reins of government. They, they certainly matched these words of Jeremiah, woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock who scattered my sheep and driven them away, not cared for them. It's so obvious that many world leaders uh, fall into that category. So the message is not just to religious leaders, but to all leaders in general. But as we focus on this passage for ourselves, we're not here to point the finger at all the other leaders of the world. They can, they can certainly be applied to them. But we really have to think of ourselves, me as a pastor. And you might say, what, what, does, what does shepherding have to do with most of the lay people in the parish? Well, let me explain to you uh, that in very many ways, each of us have the role of shepherd. We're not all part of a flock. Some of us do have responsibilities to guide a group. Maybe it's a family. It could be very small. Maybe it's our neighborhood, our neighbors. Maybe uh, it's uh, our team, a team we coach. Uh, all of these things, you might say, we are, in a sense, shepherds too. Yes, we're also part of the flock of Jesus. But we need the care and, and concern of our priests and our pastors and our bishops and of our 
political leaders, but we ourselves have to shepherd. We ourselves have to do something to make sure there's good leadership uh, everywhere. We have a lot of uh, uh, political voting that has to go on. Primaries are taking place for the city of Cleveland for a congressional seat. These are all very important uh, jobs and we have to do our best as part of our responsibility to make a wise selection as possible by looking over the candidates, trying to think well, who will be the best. We cannot uh, simply sit back and say, well, it doesn't really matter who does this or who does that. We have to try our best to make sure that there are responsible shepherds uh, and that like Jesus, whose life was given over uh, to making a unity uh, out of the many divisions uh, of the human race, the divided human race he brought together in one in his body, uh, as uh, St. Paul puts it so beautifully uh, in that second reading of our, our Mass. He is our peace, who made both of us one, broke down the dividing wall through his flesh, that he might create in himself one person in place of the two, establishing peace and might reconcile all of us with God in one body through the cross. He came and preached peace to those who are far off, to peace to those who are near. Let us be such shepherds in our world today. God bless you.